So it's, yeah, yeah, today is the Grand Tour with Ted and Frank and Amo, which is, I've been looking forward to. I rode one of these um, back in Randwick. Eamon came down to do some filming on a particularly wet day. And I was skeptical and had my concerns about riding a powered board, because I've always been about gravity and just the free riding and the freedom of just hurtling down a hill. But um, 35 seconds, I think, I was in the car park, strapped in, hit the beans and we were off. <laughs> I was sold on it then, and then we only had about 45 minutes that day, but all I've been thinking about since is getting back on one of these babies. And I've been mountain boarding for ages and ages, 2001, I think, something like that, 16, 17 years. Uh, always loved it, uh, always been heavily involved in the sport. Oh, not so much now, but um, yeah, used to ride all the races, used to win a few, and yeah, just loved the sport. And recently, as I'm getting older, I realised that I needed uh, something more than just uh, a regular mountain board for getting out and about. For me, uh, it's the acceleration, you know, from naught to happy in very, very quickly. I mean, like, you know, and too quick sometimes, but you can rein it in. That's the other thing is the response. It's just so, so easy to control your speed. Like, you know, and, and if you need to brake hard, you can, you know, just you've got to remember about your weight, but, you know, put some weight on the front foot and uh, boom. I want to, like, start hopping and hopping and jumping. Because if you land, <laughs> when you land, your thumb automatically moves. And so you just give it a bit of beans when you land, a couple of times I've jumped, you know, it's nearly. So yeah, I've got to move to uh, not accelerating on landing. Bit awesome fun, mate. Tidy, isn't it? Yeah. Let's go again. Well, we've got the whole other side. And braking's really good. I mean, I, I like that. You were in super control, aren't you? I nearly went in the back of Frank, but just as so long as you're ready for it. Yeah. Do you want any um, steering adjustment? No. No. No, I like it loose at the moment. I'm not going fast enough to warrant it tightening up, I don't think. I mean, a big, you know, like that, that tram line, a big wide expanse yeah. of tarmac where you can you, really open up and yeah. just, just carve it, fill yeah. the carve. Carving that's, is yeah, nice. yeah. And that's what I miss in there. That's, you know, it's yeah. the single, you know, even on here, you know, you, you could carve, carve this on a dry day, no problem yeah. at all. But, um, We'd be able to ride the walls a little bit here. Yeah. But again, like I said today, mate, if, if it was dry, you could be coming off the side and hitting like roots and rocks and stuff. And yeah. Still, yeah, you know, jibbing. Jibbing. It's all about the jib, isn't it? Yeah. Switch from like tarmac on the grass, have a little bimble, have a bit of a jib. Um, so many rides along we were going along this morning. There's just like so much to hit on the sides. So you just like you know pop on, pop off. Like when you're snowboarding and you, you, you're losing speed and you catch an edge or whatever, you go, oh fuck, I've got to try and get over that next rise or that next slow bit. With this, you just just hit the gas and you just accelerate away. It's, it's, it takes you everywhere. It's never a problem. Freedom, you know, it's just really accessibility. You just punch through puddles, punch through mud, and climb up the hills even today and when it's been slippy you know you're sliding around a bit but you can still with care and a bit of a, a bit of practice which I would certainly get better at you can you can they can pretty much go anywhere <laughs> I've come a long way from you know when I first sort of like saw these things um yeah and they I, I can't it seems to me like that's pretty much the the blueprint now for electric boards you know um that setup is just awesome. It just works really, really well. Yeah.